Hi everybody, this is DJC. On today's video we're going to be discussing how to repair a real real common problem with crane stands. Crane laptop stands, great industry wide item, a lot of people use them. There's the Plus, the Pro, and the Elite. Today we'll be discussing the Plus and the Pro as they're basically the same design. Easy fix and a real common problem. The Elite, that's a whole other subject, but the Plus and the Pro are today's discussion. We'll show you how to repair a really 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 quick fix to a real common problem. This is a Crane Plus stand. Like I said, functionally it's the same thing as a Crane, but Crane Plus and Crane Pro are the same thing, just different materials, a little bit of different design, but for the most part they run under the exact same theory. The problem I'm discussing today is these eventually, after being tightened down for so long, start to get where they won't hold any weight anymore. Right now, even cranked down, this isn't holding anything. So you can imagine you've got that up with a laptop on it. It's not going to hold. And that all is due to the design of the cam lock system, which is great, but this is what happens. This bar supports basically everything. Well, this bar over time will stretch out a little bit. And a little bit is all it takes. It doesn't take much. So what you need to do is on this piece, you got to add a little bit of distance to it. Here's a couple quick ways that I found that really, really do solve the problem. First of which being, these are machine bushings. They're basically big washers is all they are. Thin little pieces of metal. Don't really have a whole lot of bulk to them at all. The reason I chose these ones specifically is they are basically the size of that end cap. This is a 5 8 by 1 by 14 gauge. 5 8 is the size of the hole, 1 is the size of the outside diameter, and then 14 gauge is the thickness. These are great because they basically give you a little bit extra room over this, and they can also be slid on all the way down to here, and they go right over that little end keeper piece. So you have your option of where you want to use them. Essentially put that in there. Sometimes these get pretty spring loaded so you got to hold them down and hold them in place. Tighten that on there. And now, this will hold weight just like it was new. It's back to 100%. Easy, easy, cheap fix. I want to say these cost me like a buck twenty. Not hard to find at all. I bought these very specifically at Lowe's, but you can find them at pretty much Lowe's, Home Depot, any sort of a hardware store, any sort of a home supply place. They'll probably have something really close to that. And you can also get these if you wanted to really take time, get them with the one inch outside and get them with like a half inch hole and they would fit perfectly on this end cap. So that gives you an option as far as, as far as basically just how much research you want to do on it. Because if you got that to a half inch inside, that would fit perfectly around there. Wouldn't even notice it was there. Barely adds any bulk to it at all, fixes the problem. And that'll buy you a whole lot more time with the crane stand, get you a whole lot more use out of it. Method number two. This one's a little bit more complex. Basically, the biggest issue with when you're tightening these down is the stretch is the problem. But one of the things that kind of contributes to that is this piece only has so much thread that it can pull inside. So you get these cranked down and it only goes so far before it just won't thread anymore into here. And it's not that there's no more threads left on the screw, it's just you bottomed out inside of this piece. Well there's basically a little bit more permanent, but also really, really easy fix for that. You can take this piece and you can cut some off the end to basically make it shorter. Something you're going to want to start out with, putting a nut on the end of here. This is an M6 nut, M6 by one thread. You're definitely going to want that. 
thread that on there and basically just put it in place. It doesn't actually functionally do a whole lot. Just put it in place. It'll help for when you get done sawing and off. It fixes your threads. So your threads aren't terrible because the threads, if they're even mildly messed up, will definitely screw up the entire project. Uh, the end cap won't screw back on. If you don't, if you try and do this without the nut on it, it's going to be a really, really bad decision. So you basically take the nut, screw it on, then take a metal tooth hacksaw blade. Um, I have a hand blade here. You can do uh, like a sawzall or something, and you could also use something like a grinder or a cutting wheel. Anything that basically will cut metal efficiently. I've gone ahead and pre-cut this just a minute ago to make it fit. I got a piece like that off the end of it. It's about a half inch, give or take. Shorten it up just enough. When you take this nut back off, you'll get to the end and you'll start to feel it bind up just a little bit from the bent over threads. Just kind of massage it back and forth with your fingers. Go just little back and forth movements. Don't really force it a whole lot, but just kind of work it back and forth. It will go through. So just nice and easy, work it around. And that what it's doing is basically cleaning up the threads and making sure that they're good again. They don't have to be perfect because it's not something anybody's ever going to see, but it definitely fixes the problem, makes your life a whole lot easier. So after you've worked that around for a little while, your end cap should go right back on. Fits beautifully. And don't worry if the end of the rod here is a little bit jagged and ugly. Like I said, it's probably the last time you're ever going to see it, so I wouldn't worry too much about it. Then from there, exactly like we just did a minute ago. Kind of finagle it around a bit. And these tend to spring load somewhat as far as the actual distance between here, they tend to be a little bit spring-loaded, so it stretches it back apart. You just basically gotta pull down a little bit, kind of smash against the table. And now, even without those washers on there, crank it down, not going anywhere. You basically just fix the problem. You get a whole lot more life out of your stand. Everything's great. Problem solved. Something you can actually do also to extend the life of these between any sort of a fix is if you know you're not going to be using it for a while, if it's going into storage or between gigs, I've got a whole bunch of these at home and only a few of them get used at a time. So any of the ones that I'm not using and I know I'm not going to be using for a while, before you store them, loosen up your end caps a little bit. Just take a little bit of tension off it. That way while it's being stored it's not constantly under pressure not constantly stretching out that rod it really does prolong the life of these things significantly because um, it's you imagine months and months and months worth of just under tension that's what stretches them it's not the one night you know five hour gig it's the months and months and months of constant tension so basically just take a little bit of the distress off store them away last you a whole lot longer so I hope this fixed it for you and at least gave you some ideas on how you can fix yours. They're great, great stands. I really recommend them to everybody. This just kind of helps solve the problem and the one and only real problem I have with them. So hopefully that fixed it for you. Thanks. Thanks for watching my video. Don't forget to like, follow, subscribe, however it is on the service you're watching it on. I generally come out with new videos fairly regularly. I do live streams once a week. I do these how-to videos when I can, when I think of something that's worth sharing. I'm just trying to contribute to the community, and hopefully you find something that's useful to you. And there will be more, so definitely don't forget. Check back, like, follow, subscribe, get the notifications. Making videos hopefully you like, and hopefully you can use. Thanks.